Forgot to mention in my intro part of the video, we have a promo code for today's video, code ETD10. We'll save you 10% on today's video. Enjoy the video. I'll see you guys in the What's up? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope y'all are having another good day. Thank you guys for checking out the channel, all that good stuff, bringing some more content. So today's video, we are going to be installing some last fit LED light bulbs for the 2014 Ram 35 Hundo, all right? Real quick, real quick, before I even go further, first things first, I got to thank you guys so much. Uh, the last video with the tune in the truck, apparently y'all really liked that video. Uh, y'all tore up the comment sections, the likes, all that good stuff. I'm super grateful for you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, that in the first, I think that's my first video ever that hit 2,000 views in under 24 hours. I don't think that's ever happened on my channel before. So for me, that's a huge milestone or a huge accomplishment. I take pride in that. I'm grateful for you guys. Thank you guys so much. Uh, next thing, follow up. Make sure y'all watching these videos all the way to the end, all right? Because what will happen is y'all will watch a video and start watching it, and then you'll jump over to Instagram and DM me, and then you'll ask me a question. Like Most nine times out of 10, it's links or connections or whatever. I have in that video, the tuning video, I have everything you need down below in the description. So with that being said, just make sure you watch the video all the way. Uh, always check the description box first. Make sure to see what's down there and then go from there. Uh, number two, we got a lot of new followers, a lot of new viewers on this channel. So with that being said, welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm Cam, everything diesel, all right? Uh, with that being said, I highly encourage y'all to check out my previous videos, okay? Uh, this truck is a new truck to the channel. But a lot of my subscribers know I've been around for quite a bit of time now. Uh, I think we're coming up on either three or four years, something like that. Uh, I have a complete built, I had a completely built third gen truck on the channel. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff to it. Uh, so, you know, this ain't my first rodeo. So with that being said, I highly encourage you to check out my previous videos because I have so much content out there uh, when it comes to the third gen specifically and just the six, seven comments in general. Uh, and then the last thing I was going to say, which I kind of forgot now, but... Whatever, it must not have been important. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and roll into the video now. You guys, now, I've only done one thing to the truck. Pop the hood, two things. Pop the hood, took off the cowling panel because we're gonna be trying to take off these headlights, and that's it. So you guys will be able to follow along how to do this, super simple. But with that being said, let's get the video started. All right, you guys, so we got, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do a little quick unboxing just so you guys can see it. So this company is called Last Fit LED um, Lighting. I've used them in the past uh, for my OG subscribers, my OG followers. When I first started with the third gen, I actually ran this brand uh, LED bulbs in my truck. And these are by far, by far, I'm sure there's another brand out there. But for me personally, these are by far the best aftermarket LED bulbs you can buy in terms of light output, quality build, reliability, ease of installation that's a big one because especially on these rams with the canvas system they're real finicky when it comes to led bulbs uh so yeah so last fits the way to go so i reached out to them for this truck they were more than willing to jump on board and join the everything diesel team family uh so with that being said just give you all a little quick unboxing I, I opened it already just to obviously make sure packaging is real nice if i can even get this thing to open that's why i got my flathead Ugh. uncut let's go all right so we open it up product manual uh, i went through it it's very simple there's nothing crazy in here if you've never changed the bulbs before i highly encourage you just to go on youtube and look up how to change it for your vehicle stickers uh and then they include an allen screw if you need to adjust the the beam pattern but they say that they come adjust it to where you shouldn't have to uh maybe if you got a lifted truck or something like that so then we come here and we have the LED bulbs. Now these are going to be, I probably should have showed you guys. Uh, da, 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 where's it at? The model. Yep, here we go. So these are going to be 9 to 16 volts. These are each individually 36 watt bulbs, which is actually really bright. Um, and then your lumens, you're looking at about 4,000 lumens per bulb, which is stupid. You're going to have that, that LED look, that white bluish tint. Uh, and, and I'll show you guys at night what it looks like and it comes with a two-year warranty so if something happens to them you're covered that is the part number for uh, there we go that right there is the part number for the uh, bulbs if you're interested in them and yeah and then these are the newest ones they have some previous models but these are going to be the newest ones uh, some added benefits to it one built-in resistor it even tells you do not touch 
Two, it has a bigger cooling fan. The fan on the last one probably about 25% smaller. Um, and it has a bigger cooling fan. They added a bigger heat sink internally so these can stay cool because these pump out some stupid amounts of, uh, of light output. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and roll over to the truck now. And then we're going to get the truck ready to put these in. All right, so like I said, I already took off the shroud up top here because what's going to happen is you're going to have to take your grill off. If you never did this before, which I'm sure almost all of you probably have. And then once you pop that off, also rewind, there's four pop clips that holds that on. I got one of these Harbor Freight uh, pop pullers. So after that, you got four 10 mil bolts. One, two, three, four. Once you get those out, you basically pull back, pull outwards to snap the grill out. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like once it's off, okay? All right, once you got that off, you're gonna go ahead. You have two 10 mil bolts on the outside, one and two. I'm actually gonna leave these last because inside the wheel well, uh, when you lift up the little magic door, one second, let me take y'all off the tripod. Whoop. All right, so once you come back here, that white tab up there refuses to focus. That guy right there, that white tab, all you do is push up and then go come back out on the outside, take those two 10 mils out, and she pulls right out, okay? Easy day. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and got the headlight off. So when you take the headlight off, if it's the projector style, like the ones I have, you're going to have this cover on the back. It's going to be an 8 mil. Uh, you just take off, boom, 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 and then, yeah. So I already broke them with the ratchet. I'm just using this to speed it up. Yeah, there's two uh, connectors in here. We're going to go after the big one right here. All right, that, oh, sorry. This guy right here. So all you legitimately would do, because it's LEDs, it's not old school HIDs, unplug one, and you would come and plug in the new bad Larry, okay? Not too sure how this is going to work in terms of the backside. It might be too big. I don't know yet, but we'll find out. All right, you guys. So up here, uh, let me get y'all adjusted a little better. That way you can see what's going on up in here. There we go. All right, you guys. So there, that cover I told you all about, I took it off. It's right here in my hand. All right. Now, I anticipated this was going to happen, but whatever. So basically, the fin on the backside is too tall out because I already popped out the original bulb. You just turn left, pull out. And uh, if you're looking, uh, when they're both sitting there, flush with each other this sticks out about uh, probably like eighth of an inch maybe quarter inch too too far out so you can't put the cover back on and I don't want this exposed to the elements so what I'm going to do is I'm going to legitimately just drill a hole cut out the back side of let me zoom this out now I'm just going to cut out the hole on the back side of this plate because that's where it sits at big enough just so the fan can protrude out of it and we should be good with that so I'll go ahead and get that marked up and then show you what it looks like when it's installed. Alright you guys, so I went ahead and left the... Uh, la, 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 la. I went ahead and put it in there. Put the cover on. Excuse the cut job, you guys. It's the back side of the headlight, so not too worried about it. Uh, but this is all I had to do. Trim a little opening for it. Uh, I trimmed down here. Well, actually, no, because it worked out because I was able to get the wire through. So actually, that, that came out nice. Uh, this right here, the, the, I don't even remember what this is called, but uh, this gets hot. It says do not touch hot. So I don't want that inside of there potentially burning one of the wires because it gets hot. I, I don't try. I don't, I don't feel like trying to glue it or any of that mess either. So I just have it chilling out here. I've already checked on the back side of the uh, inside of the truck. It doesn't touch anything, so she'll be all right there. Uh, plus, it's the back side of a headlight, so it ain't like no one's gonna see it. But I already went ahead, 
before you close this up and put it back to install you need to plug your headlights up to your truck and make sure that the connector from those the bulb going to the harness is in the right position because these uh the polarity could be backwards so a simple fix for that is you would just unplug it let's say you you know go to hook it up and no lights come on unplug it rotate the plug plug it back in and if it it'll take care of that issue uh, i had to do that for this one uh but i did a test fit uh, everything's good so I'm gonna go ahead and slap this back in show you guys what it looks like when it's on I, obviously it's daytime right now so I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like uh, at nighttime so you can see the brightness from the last fit bulbs curious how they're gonna be on uh, those projector bulbs but we'll find out Woo! there you go working like a charm I know it's hard to see and trust me it's not flickering like that in real person that's the camera She works though. Headlights are on. See the lights. Ooh, baby. Oh yeah, by the way, I got my plate in too, so we good now. I'm gonna let her idle for a little bit because this is the first time I'm starting her up. Start her up probably in a couple days. Actually, so I switched from the rumble or from the whistle tune, I went back to the or went to the rumble tune with low boost fueling because I didn't have low boost fueling earlier so I, I got low boost fueling rumble tune 180 line pressure for the transmission uh, once we do the rev max valve body we'll bump up that line pressure up to 225 maybe 250 if I can get it uh, man she sounds good but I think I'm gonna go back to the whistle y'all man that whistle that whistle tune y'all it's out of this world she's cold right now too Oh, uh, thinks the key fob is left. I gotta change the battery in my key fob. Down. All right, let's get rid of that. Oh shit! What happened? All right, we'll let we'll let it do its thing there. Oh, there we go. I just want to show y'all the pids. Yeah. So she's. I mean, is it like 65? I don't know. I don't know. How, it's probably like 70 now. 65, 70. So she just first cold start for the engine it's not temp cold but you know what i'm saying headlights are a success oh man i can't wait to show you guys these at nighttime i know they're gonna be bright let me go ahead and slap the bumper back together or not the bumper the grill and put the shroud back on and then we'll wrap this job up y'all know that sound never gets old right all right so i got a little bored and uh we're putting a new tune on the truck. <laughs> I'm putting his tune back on, but uh, this time it's going to be his tune with low boost fueling. But today we had a little package come in, some brand new tires for the front of the truck. Um, legitimately, I went with the same brand that was on there already. Uh, these Ironmans, uh, what are they? All country, all terrains, 17s, uh, just stock tires. So I went with these, um, got them on eBay, a good deal on there for two, brand new. Um, I know they got mixed reviews, 50-50, honestly, that's what I get. Some of them are fine, no issues. Some of them, they all sorts of issues. So, I watch them. Uh, the reason why I went with just stock tires like this or this brand tire instead of changing all six is because uh, clearly, one, changing all six tires is a lot more money uh, than changing two tires. And three, or two, the tires in the back are actually uh, probably about 50-60% tread. Um... Depending on how these ride up front, I may order two more or order four more for the rears. That way, all six are brand new. Because uh, my intention is not to have these on for a long time. Uh, we do have plans for wheels and uh, for the truck, uh, hopefully within the next couple months. So these aren't even going to be on that long. So if anything, I might just get four more of these. That way, the stocks, they have relatively new tires on them uh, when that time comes. But these are 10 plies, uh, 235.80. 17s and uh yeah these came in all right so now you guys basically all i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna wait until the sun sets once it gets dark outside which due to the time of the year won't be much longer uh we'll take the truck out and get a night shot so you guys can see the lights um i think you'll be really impressed i know i'm looking forward to it as well so i'll see you guys here in a little bit all right we in the truck now I'm sure y'all can tell Got the whistle tune back on with the low boost fueling. 
These lights are bright, man. And the sun hasn't fully set. If you look out there, you can see the sun's like barely, like still a little bit of light out, but it's pretty much dark. But it's also well lit over here where I'm at, so try to get it somewhere uh, where it's nice and dark, and then I'll get out and show y'all it. All right, y'all, so we just pulled up somewhere. So when I go with the lights, I might look yellow on the camera, but trust me, they're white in person. This is what it looks like from the inside. I'll do that again. Actually, one sec. Oh yeah, big difference. Get out real quick and show y'all what it looks like. It goes out pretty far. It goes way out there. Got to do the fog lights next. And like I said, you guys, it might look like it's, uh, they might look like they're yellow in the camera. Like right here it might look yellow, but that's just because the fog lights are throwing off the, uh, the hue. Matter of fact, let me turn the fog lights off real quick. Man, she sound good. How the fuck's that thing at? There we go. All right, fog lights are off. This right here is what you're looking at, y'all. On. Dark. They go way out there. Everything. Eventually, I'm gonna get everything LED. So I'm gonna do the fog lights. Uh, cab lights gonna convert to clear LEDs. Side markers gonna do. I don't know if I'm going to do clear or smoke. I think I'm going to do smoke for the bed lights, uh, smoke LEDs. Oh, yeah. I approve of these, man. This looks good. And honestly, you guys, like, I'm actually, I like the way the the fourth gen uh, projector headlights look. Like, stock, they look really sharp. I've, I know a lot of people online, they won't even, they'll just crack these open, paint them, customize them, and close them back up. They won't even waste time. Uh, getting aftermarket headlights, but eventually down the road, we got to go with uh, Alpha Rex, man. I mean, their lights are on point, absolutely. This is that nighttime, that nighttime stuff, baby. Yeah, it's still dark out here in the background. That thing don't ever get old. I also got LED tag lights that I got to put in. I didn't get to put in in this video. Ran out of time, but I got some of those last fit sent out. Gonna be putting those in. I mean, their stuff is good, man. It really is, you guys. Like, you can't you can't really go wrong with their stuff. I've ran it in the past. I've ran it now. Um, you know, it's the way. It's the way for sure. You know what I'm saying? All right. I'm back at the end. All right, so I had to finish this video up on the inside uh, just because the light was dark outside. Uh, I got interior bulbs here and license plate bulbs. So I'm gonna be swapping these out too. Uh, down to, well, probably tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna swap these out and let you guys see what these look like. I just didn't have time today to get these into the video, but I, they have every bulb you would ever need for your vehicle. Uh, a lot of the bulbs are interchangeable as well. Um, I forgot the size for them. Yeah size all right but with that being said you guys once again make sure you use code etd10 go to the last fit uh website i will have a link down below in the video description a link will be down below in the video description with the promo code okay if you guys want to save some money um that was the highest end led bulbs they had and they were really good uh perfect for for what i need uh especially because the windshield is about to get tinted uh next friday so need a little bit better lighting, you know what I'm saying? But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, that was it. So drop a comment down below, all that good stuff. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. I look at my analytics and a lot of people watch my videos, but they're not subscribed. I want to change that, all right? So with that being said, thank you guys so much for checking out the channel. Until next time, take care, be safe, peace out, and I will see you guys soon on the next video.